The latest round of nuclear talks between Iran and world powers over Iran's long-disputed nuclear program will be extended to July the 7th. Under the interim deal agreed in Geneva in November 2013, Iran has suspended some disputed nuclear activities in exchange for limited relief from international sanctions. At least 130 bodies have been found after an Indonesian Air Force C-130 crashed in a residential neighborhood in the city of Midan on the northern island of Sumatra yesterday. 110 passengers and 12 crew were believed to have been on board and 8 others were believed to have been killed on the ground. It should shame us all that three years since the adoption of the Geneva Communique on resolving the cataclysmic conflict in Syria the suffering of the Syrian people continues to plumb new depths. More than 220,000 Syrians are dead. Almost half the country's men, women and children have been forced to flee their homes. At least three people were killed yesterday when a car bomb exploded near a police station in a western suburb of Cairo, a day after an attack killed Egypt's top public prosecutor. The attack fell on the second anniversary of the start of mass protest that preceded the overthrow of President Mohamed Morsi in July 2013 by the army. Burundian President Pierre Nkurunziza has claimed an early victory in Monday's parliamentary polls. Turnout was low in and around the capital city of Bujumbura, partly because the election was boycotted by the opposition and many civic groups. Nkurunziza's decision to seek a third term has sparked months of protest around the country.